Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at adjustment layers. This is a special sort of layer which is extremely useful and it's worth spending time to get your head around how to use them. So layers as we've said before they are a you imagine a layer of card like this and then we put above it another layer say a plastic here where this is half red and half transparent so that when we look down from above we see something like this which is we see the blue from the bottom and the red from this one here because this bit's transparent so in other words this middle layer here acts to change what you see so let's move on from this and look at it in a different way where we have a the basic blue card again and we'll put another layer on top but this is a special sort of layer this is the adjustment layer it doesn't contain any pixels at all what it con con uh, contains is an a control an adjustment now, effectively it's a little bit of programming code that will do things to it so I could say let's make this one something that adjusts the color of what we have below so we can see it differently so I can put this above if this it's not changed it's like this but then I will have a control which I can then say let's adjust the color of the thing above and so this is all done by this layer here and the computer basically looks at this makes this change to it so and then you see this on the screen the great thing about this is you can go back at any time and change it so let's have a look at this with a proper picture here we go here's some butterflies and the way this works is that we want to put in another layer here which is called an adjustment layer so we can find them in two places one is down here another is through the layers menu up here on the layers menu if I say new adjustment layer there's a whole bunch of things here and also if I go to the new live filter layer there's another bunch of things and these all act in exactly the same way and there's one there called exposure that we could use we can also find it down here if I click on this it's not quite the same place but it's still there there it is exposure and in this other one here this sort of like egg timer thing there's all those other filters but we're going to stick here with the circle one this half circle we're going to go to exposure and what happens is you get this will come up and also this extra layer and this has got like a white background and a little circle on it the same as the little circle down there to tell you that it's it's one of those it's an, it's an, an adjustment and we can then make adjustments here but ooh, um, oh dear yeah it's it's actually not helping very much is it you know it's, it's burning it out very quickly one of the things we can see with this is we can turn this on and off so I turn this off here that's the original and this is the exposure so it's, we haven't changed anything we've not changed the original picture we can get rid of this very easily in a number of different ways we can click on delete here we can go up to layer and delete in the delay menu we can click on the dustbin down here or I can right click on this layer and where it says delete down there I can hit delete there and there gets rid of that layer so let's look for something a bit better to do let's say do a brightness and contrast but bring that one up now I can play with this and if I adjust the brightness say here oh that's much gentler isn't it so it brings up the brightness a bit without making things burn out maybe I'll do a bit of contrast change as well that's oh that's nice isn't it that's much better so maybe a bit too much we'll turn that down but we can play with this we can come back to it with these if I click on the merge button here that's going to merge that into the layer below so this is all going to disappear so I can't back come back to it that's destructive I very seldom use that delete as we said deletes it and reset will bring things back to where they were so if I hit reset there 
it's just gone back. These have gone back to their basic positions. So I can readjust them as I want to. I can also put in any extra layers. So for example, I can click on the adjustments here again, and I can go say, well, let's do that HSL again, shall we? And when we do that, the last one here, the brightness and con contrast panel here disappeared, but it doesn't mean this has disappeared. And this one has come up, which is for the one I just chose. And now I can tweak this and change the color a bit. This often in, with this one, just a little bit of a tweak is all you need for changing the color. Maybe work a little bit on the saturation a little bit there and so on. So these layers then are both adjustment layers and I can turn them off. And I've still got the original. This is the great thing about adjustment layers. I can even go back after having done this HSL. Let's go back to that brightness and control one. And we can tweak that again. So I can so I can still change things here, even after I've done something else. So it's not just like an undo. It's really, really useful. Okay, that's about enough. And I hope you liked that one. And please do, if this is your new to these, spend time to figure out these things and how to use them because they're very, very useful. I'll be using them lots and lots in other videos. Thank you very much for watching.